It's we the are time the time to do it. We are the only people that are not on vacation. So please participate in this show today. So listen to this. Drove four hours yesterday to go save a border collie. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, is a, that is a very John Jay move. Not only did I go save this border collie, um, but when I went to go pick up the border collie, I put a, because I, I, I had to drive so far, I put a, a dog kennel in my car, thinking, okay, I'll put the dog in there. When I get the dog, it's gigantic. Doesn't fit in the dog kennel. Oh, oh my! How big is the it dog? Is a big freaking dog. <laughs> Bigger than any dog like I have. Like a human, like it needs to be seatbelted. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> is that right? I I didn't know that they got that big. It was big. It was huh. bigger than the kennel I had. So I just put the dog in the back seat, and then when I get the dog out, you know, obviously dogs are a little scared in the beginning. So he was like, you know, I mean, he could pull me on the leash. And I was like, ah, trying to get it back, and and I was all nervous about the dog and. Um, I stopped the dog in the middle of the road. At one point, I, I pulled into off a ra- off ramp off the freeway to, so he can go poop. So he pooped, and then or she pooped. Then when she gets back in my car, I'm driving and I smell poop. Like I don't know, they got stuck on her fur or something oh, like that. No. But you know how if you see ants, you feel like you have ants all over you. Right. Yes. The rest of the day, I thought I had poop on me. Yeah, somewhere. yeah there's no question. <laughs> right, so. what, wait, hold on a second. Was it you? Because we all know you've had some close I mean, no, encounters. No. Remember that day that you, you couldn't have... figure out where the poop came from, yeah, and it was all on. <laughs> it was on my shirt. Um, you have talked very openly before, John Jay, yep. about your skid marks. So. So I find <laughs> I, I, I go meet the new family. Uh, I drive literally. F- f- two hours from one location and two hours from another location to drop off the new family waiting for me in the bank at night, nine o'clock at night, 9.15 at night when I get there. And this woman grabs his dog and embraces the dog and loves the dog and takes it, sits in the back seat with her dog, the new dog, and everything's great. I, so I get a message today and it's like, hey, everything's great. We love this dog. It's getting along good with our family, but we notice it's not spayed or neutered. She's having her monthly issues. Oh, she's in, in heat, right? And she's like, we can't afford saying? it. We can't afford this. You know, we can't afford it. And I was like, so I don't know what to say. I don't, ha-. I said, oh, well, I'll pay for it. I'll get your dog spayed. I'll get this dog spayed and neutered. And then I thought, uh, I've, I I I don't know how to I don't know if that's a is that like a five thousand dollar like I don't no, know I don't, I don't know so. what that costs actually you know the Arizona Humane Society they do like events all the time where it's really really cheap yeah. Well, because, is. you know, I they, you, they promote that. You I know? bet you we could hook that up, like, with a phone call to our, our friend at the Humane Society. I bet you they would hook us up with that. Or if there's anybody listening, maybe maybe you, uh, if you work at a dog clinic or something like that, what do you call it, dog clinic? A veterinary yeah. clinic? Yes. <laughs> Anyone likes to volunteer the, uh, oh the spay and neuter of this beautiful you, collie, that would really help me out tremendously. You are getting no sleep with this dog rescue thing. <laughs> I am just seeing it right now. <laughs> well, that is a good thing you've done there. Yeah, I, th- I would think that we would be able to hook that up. Or one of our listeners could, could make that happen? Call the radio station if you can help. 877-937-1047.